Hey everyone, it's Ariel, and we're back to another episode of Ariel's Heart Rate Gaming, and we're back to my time at Sandrock. We just finished uh, the trees growing, so we're kind of in a waiting phase. Uh, we do have Katori's um, quest that we're still working on. I have all the materials, I just need to craft uh, these two things, and then I can go get that installed. And I also finally have the flowers for this quest. So we'll probably focus on a few of these little side ones while we're waiting for um, the next main quest to happen, which I hopefully will be getting um, in the mail tomorrow. So we'll see. I did not mean to do that. Heck. Oh no. Now I have to find space for another animal house. Dog! Oh no, I gotta talk to Zeke. Talk to Zeke. Howdy. Plantmeister plant it up. Dan B said I needed to be livelier if I wanted people to be more interested in my work, but that didn't feel right at all. The sentiment stands. I do appreciate what you've done. Thanks. Thanks, Zeke. Sweet. Always happy good. for the relationship bonus. Alright. Go install this. Oh, we're not installing it. We're taking it to Katori. All right, let's. Oh, hey, Ernest. I got a letter from my. Take it easy. All right, let's give this stuff to Katori. These are all the materials. Yep. Wow. Yeah, they sure are. Thanks a bunch. I'll get these over to Heidi on the double, and we'll start the expansion of the game center. Sounds Next good. Up, Step two of Katori World. Yes, the museum. bigger museum. The mayor really came through and gave me a grant. The museum is a heritage of the town, after all. That's what Trudy said. It means we can upgrade the museum as well. I don't know if you heard, but Heidi and Trudy are planning on opening a road directly to Portia. Who knows how many more tourists will be coming to Sandrock? A thousand? Ten? I can't let an opportunity like this slip. Besides, haven't you been to the shipwreck ruins yeah. recently? I'm sure you found loads of new relics you're excited to show to the world. Well, imagine it. Countless tourists, all swarming to the Golden Goose and Museum. The oohs, the ahs, the dang, how did I spend this many goals? Anyway, <laughs> I figure we'll be needing some new exhibition stands for yes. more relics. Much and a new bigger display museum. to draw attention on an expanded roof. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. How did I get so lucky, huh? Got a partner with as much vision as me. Here's the recipe for the exhibition stand. You can make it on the work table. Heidi will take care of the new rooftop itself, but I'll need your help for the display. Can you ask Director Chi to make you a diagram? When you're all done, please install them on location. All right. Oh, jeez, you think she would have uh, given me some re uh, reputation with her for that, all that stuff I brought her? Okay, so we just gotta talk to Chi. <clears throat> you know, this is somewhat startling. I also happen to be free. Well then, let's begin our date. How cool. <laughs> uh, group photo. Uh, 
uh, take goat. I do like chi. Like I'm dating Arvio, unsure and chi right now. I like. I mean, Fang is so sweet too. And I'm still really hung up on Owen. Hmm. This tram cart is incredible. It uses the normal function of necessity, but has the increased functionality of aesthetic pleasure. Fascinating. Simply fascinating. Yes, very cool. Could be interesting. Yes. Come to this with me. Oh. There are two ways to play this game follow mode and collaboration mode before the game starts your partner will randomly choose one collaboration mode you need to move in different directions to complete the drawing a line that hasn't been traced yet a trace finish line follow mode your partner will start drawing a picture you must follow the line they draw a line drawn by your partner a line drawn by you the more of the drawing you complete within the time limit, the happier your partner will be. Okay. I how do I know if I'm on follow? Oh, okay, I, I think he did uh oh gosh, come on. Why isn't it completing? Hmm. Interesting. Even a simple act of drawing in the sand may be related to some kind of dopamine response <laughs> system. Absolutely fascinating. I must study this further. Of course he had a straw star. <laughs> so cheap. Moon viewing. I hope we can see some constellations. I hope I can see Goose, Lights Arrow, and Sky Scorpster. Okay. Goose. It's three... Three lines. Oh. Mm. Okay, that is Scorpster has a wide one at the bottom and then some wiggly ones at the top. Wide at the bottom. Wiggly at the t Oh, is it this one? Sweet. Okay, and then that one's really spread out. Three, and then one really far away. Three. And then one really far away. Ah, there it is. Woo! Barely got that one in time. Nice. You have a keen observational ability and a great knowledge of astronomical objects. I believe it is even on par with many college students at the University of Vega 5. Perhaps one day we may be looking at the Builder constellation. Aw, she. Look how you're on a date and you stand close to him and we hold hands. This is so cute. So cute. Now to dinner. How <gasps> could you? Let my guard down for a moment. I open my heart to someone, and this happens for all the stars in the sky. For this to happen to such an undeserving person. I'm suddenly experiencing a strangely unpleasant sensation. I need to go to investigate this. I... I... I haven't felt this before. Oh. <sighs> well... Shoot. He was just standing there. 
Oh, the stargazing constellations. Cool. Uh, I mean, I don't really care about Arvio, but I did not want to hurt Chi. Do I have to give them both an apology bear? Oh, geez. Well, I guess we get to see what happens with this. I think I might give an apology. I might try giving an apology bear to Chi. I might just break up with Arvio, honestly, because every single time I talk to him now, it's like cringe city. It's really quite annoying. All right, can I gift him this? Hey. Oh, I guess he's not. He's, he's not going to accept anything right now. He's not accepting anything. Ah, great. Fine. Be that way. Now, I heard that there were some haircut updates, so did they re-add? Oh, there are new things what hairstyle oh there that's the the long with the braids yay they re-added it i don't know why they took it away in the first place oh my gosh <laughs> that is shockingly cute oh my goodness <laughs> really cute uh, oh my gosh we have little ringlets so cute oh and then like just straight can I have bangs with it? oh I can okay wow so there's a couple of longer hairstyles now little side swipe bangs oh cool there we go Wow, they added a bunch with this update. That's a different ponytail, I think. You can't see it because of the hair. So it's just a little... Wow, it's very close to the head. It's hard to see it. Huh. Okay, well... Let me play with this. Oh, look at that! Well, that kind of kind of looks like a take on Nora's hairstyle with the long braid. Do that with my. All right. So that's the hair. That's the hairstyle I was looking for back in the character creation. So they re-added some of the old ones. Maybe they needed tweaking, and then they added a lot of new ones too. So that's that's pretty cool. See what we got in the mail. Oh, a letter from Ma. Saw Sandrock in the news again and it made me think of you. Actually, I wouldn't have seen the article if not for Nia. You were on page nine, the potpourri section. I usually skip that one because it's on the opposite side of the crossword puzzle. Something you all did really blew up in the horticulture community. I think that's how they refer to themselves. So you're changing the desert into greenlands. I don't really get it, but it seems to be a very big deal. Can you explain it to me when you get time? If Sandrock becomes green, will they change the name? How about Green Rock? Tell the mayor you can use that one for free. Your pa has been cutting out all the articles where you're mentioned and is making a little bulletin board for the bonsai tree room. You've I've been calling it the Ariel and Jungle Museum. He doesn't care for the name because bonsai trees aren't really jungle plants, but I think it's stuck. We're both very proud of you. Can you think of a seven letter word for a person who constructs things, starts with a B. Uh, builder? It's complicated stuff, I don't really get it either. We did it all together, but I guess I'm the brawn, not the brains, but hey, we could have done it if it didn't make the suits. Uh, we made some discoveries about the soil here. We've even started to plant a small forest. It's called the Little Woods, funnily enough. 
once the ecology improves, it should grow much big better. I feel like she's gonna figure out the crossword before the letter even gets there. Attached is a diagram for the electronic display. I thought of putting some more features into it, but gave up halfway. Quatori won't be able to afford it. Rooftop display. Okay, that's the next thing we gotta do for Katori. Still didn't get, well, let's see. I thought we were gonna get like a fireside notification. No, it just looks like part-time, mysterious benefactor. All right, well, still waiting. I put out a public notice for investors and I only got one. Better than nothing. You could say that again. He sent me 20,000 goals with nothing but his signature, Tony. So naturally, I write back immediately. I thank him for his support, ask if he'd like to meet, talk about how to spend the funding. He said no. I wrote another letter. Is there anything, and I mean anything, you name it, anything you'd like me to do for you? I'd like for you to make shoes for the pets of Sandrock. I asked why and he never replied. Another follow-up, no response. It's been weeks now and I don't know what to do. If you feel guilty, just give it to me. Looks like we're making pet shoes. <laughs> I think one thing is clear. Tony, Tony only had one request and as an upstanding principal shop owner, I believe I have no choice but to honor this request no matter how bizarre. Will you help me fulfill this strange order to make shoes? Shoes for the pets of Sandrog. Ah, uh, sure. Do you believe this is the right thing to do? I'll speak with Bibi about the details and she'll afford the design. Okay. Sheer. Alright, here's hoping that the game center construction is going to be finished because I really need fireside. Okay. I really need to get that apology bear. Let's see if we got a letter. Okay, we do some mail from City Hall. How are you? I am planning to hold a fireside meeting to let folks know about the successful experiment with the bio crust and the trees. Please come tonight at six. Sweet. Ah, and then this is the shoes. Attached are some simple designs for Sandy the camel and Captain the cat. The camel shoes are just simple designs. RBO wanted horseshoes, but for camels, not realizing camels have soft feet. For the cat shoes, well, there was once some maniac I knew from back in the day who tried to sell cat shoes, calling them cat mittens. I don't even want to think about the kind of damage they might have done before they shut him down. As any sane person knows, shoes stop cats from being able to use their claws, which hinders climbing and balance nearly everything they do. But if we must put shoes on a cat, Captain is the best candidate. I've left little holes in the designs for him to employ and, and retract his claws. Let's see how things go. Sandy shoes and Captain's shoes. Okay, we have our fireside to do now. Get our next main objective. Welcome, everyone. Trudy has some exciting news to announce. No fooling. Trudy, if you please. Um... I'd like to give an update on how the latest tree planting experiment went. We're still collecting data, and Zeke is communicating with the botanist in Highwind, as well as the church to get some second opinions. We're also working on growth trajectory, as well as the amount of water needed. With that said, yes, the rumors are true. It actually went really well. Improbably Ooh. well. You can go over to our little woods by the Gecko Station ruins and check it out yourself. We were able to grow vegetation in the desert. All thanks to the hard work of Zeke and Director Chi, as well as our two resourceful builders. I just knew it! Sandrock forever! <laughs> wow! I suppose when you keep trying, good things happen. Way to go, y'all! I can really see that ray of hope. 
Now, let me introduce this gentleman next to me. For those of you who haven't met him, this here is Ernest, the reporter from Atara who wants to do a story on our mayor's progress with the Little Woods. I believe some of you know me already, but to those of you who don't, hello, I'm Ernest. I've been doing a few pieces on Sandrock, and my next one will be on this new method of planting you all have discovered. I'm going to be interviewing some of you in the coming days, and also taking pictures of the trees you have growing out in the desert. It'll be an ongoing piece. I'll be putting out articles as this greenery project continues to make progress. Ahem, uh, yes. We welcome okay. you back with open arms, Mr. Ernest. Uh, that is, once the forest has grown out a bit more, uh, which it certainly will. Wonderful. As they say in Bonarok, counting your chickens before <laughs> they hatch is a good way to predict how many chickens you'll soon have. Right. Anywho, everyone is invited to be in a group photo, so I hope you can all try to stay flexible within the next few days. City Hall will send out a letter with the time and date as soon as possible. Uh, this could be my big break. You all wouldn't <laughs> want to miss a chance to be in the biggest paper in the free cities, would you? So then, Group if there photo. are no objections, for the feature photograph, I thought it would be most fitting to feature the person most responsible for all our success. Give it up for the botanist who never bowed out. Sandrock's very own Zeke! Whoa, hold on. I said I'd do the group photo. I don't want to be on the front page or nothing. You should do it, Trudy. Uh, me? Oh, well, I... Trudy! We can't just put any Johnny come <laughs> lately as the face of Sandrock. She's the mayor. Come lately. What's she done for us since she got back anyway? Other than almost getting both our builders killed at the shipwreck ruins. Way I see it, person we ought to be thanking other than Zeke is good minister Matilda. Now hold on a tick. This is our ray of hope. Yeah, when I heard that, I was like, <laughs> whoa. I mean, Matilda has led us through some of the most troubled times I've ever seen in this town. I says we put Matilda on the front of one of them funny papers <laughs> as a co-nimmeration for all she's done in this town. All in favor? Say aye. <laughs> there you have it. Balls in your court, Mayor. Uh, uh sure. Uh, I mean, if that's how everyone Aww, feels about it. Tree. Minister Matilda, at the behest of our fine citizens, would you do us the honor of appearing on the front page of this article? Oh, I couldn't. The mob has spoken. Really? It's all right. You've earned this, Matilda, as well as Zeke and our builders. We couldn't have done it without you either. Mm -hmm. uh, goodness, y'all. I'm at a loss for words. I only ever wanted what was best for Sandrock. I was only ever doing what the light put me here to do. But if it'll make y'all happy, then yes, I accept this exceptionally high honor. <laughs> Thank you, Sandrockers. Does this work for you, Ernest? Um, sure. It's up to you guys, I guess. Uh, all, all right then. Everyone, keep an eye on your mailboxes. I'll let everyone know when we're ready to take the photo. Meeting adjourned. Uh, Con conserve water. Conserve water. Uh, serve water. <laughs> Poor Trudy. <laughs> she keeps getting talked over. <sighs> All right. So no commentary post. So group photo by the trees. This is Ernest's. Uh, big thing that's what we're waiting for next i kind of hope it takes a couple days because i was really hoping the game center would get finished so that i can get that apology bear <laughs> all right what we got in the mail uh tomorrow is the day for the photo shoot at the little woods near get go station weather's perfect wear your sunday best <sighs> oh wow Look at all of this. There's a lot more going on. I don't know if we'll be able to play any of this, but I 
I haven't seen the game center upgraded before, so this should be interesting. Oh, Ology Bear is 113. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, we're gonna install the Punchotron. And then the other one installs outside, it looks like. The sign, okay. There we go. There's that. Don't toy with the hearts of the pew. Ugh, Ario, shut up. All right, so if I give him the apology bear. Oh, wow, this bear is so cute. Oh, no, I'm not angry anymore. I know you have me in your heart. Uh. Oh. That's not what I was gonna say. Uh. Okay, so I guess I guess tomorrow I can give him the uh, the dead branch. I really I just I need I need Arvio to be done. The way he talks to you is like just absolutely annoying. Oh, Katori, talk to Katori. We did it. They're amazing. You're really efficient, you know that? I Thanks for do. all your hard work, partner. No now problem. it's my turn to get the tourists to come. Watch me. Sweet. So now the game center is upgraded and so is the museum. Woo, look how big it is now. Oh, the pictures. Some of the pictures have changed. I have to check them because <laughs> I'm wondering if mine's going to be snuck in somewhere like this because I just never found it before. And we still have a slideshow and all this. Interesting. All right, we found another new photo for Mort. It's a cute <laughs> yes. one. Yes, these were the good old days. <laughs> We were so full of hope then. We used to write messages in the sand with straw. If you stuck them in there with a shovel, they'd stay there for a long, long time. Hmm, but this photo, it was quite a while after we started doing that. Ah, yes, it all started when I found that old book. I thought fate was giving us another chance. From the ruins of the old world that impoverished us, we found a book, one that detailed all sorts of agricultural techniques, advanced concepts that included even terraforming the desert. The methods in the book seemed out of our grasp, however, until uh, I noticed that the message I used to write in the sand with straw, would, if I made them into a square, they could protect plants inside it from the blowing sands. And so began the straw grid. I began digging thousands of squares across the desert, sowing stubborn plants in each of them, ones I knew could survive. As the plants grew, the straw became like fertilizer. After a few cycles, sand turned back into soil again. Zeke might have told you something about those days, hmm? We were all building the straw grid, and for a while there, we thought we were going to put a dent into the sandstorms. But the desert was too strong. We were like droplets of water fighting against an unfeeling ocean. No matter what we did, the winds kept blowing, and our oasis got smaller and smaller. Oh, I'm sorry that regaling such a pleasant memory took a rather dark turn. Please, stop by if you find any more of my photos. Well, that's funny. I could have swore I remember that photo... Oh, it's gone. I could have swore I remember that photo. He told us that that was that was how he proposed to her. Was he he put the he like proposed by doing a straw grid in the sand with the heart and like, will you marry me? Like I remember him telling us that story, not what he just said. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, there's some sort of event here in City Hall. 
Oh, Ernest is going to talk I guess just some more? start off with an introduction. Talk a little about yourself, whatever comes to mind. Um, I'm Trudy. I've lived in Sandrock my whole life. I was elected mayor here after my husband, Theodore, the former mayor, passed away during a sandstorm. As a citizen, I've watched Sandrock dwindle and nearly shrivel up. So now, it's my job. No, my duty to keep this place alive, which I couldn't do without the help of all my lovely friends and colleagues, of course. Good, yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> we can use that. All right, let's start with the questions. A lot of outsiders find the Sandrock mindset hard to understand. As you said, Sandrock is dwindling, but it seems like all of you still have the capacity to pick up and move somewhere more prosperous. Why not do that? Why stay in this town? Wow, gosh. That's... that's a complicated question to answer. No, it's not. Because Sandrock is our home and we want to see it great again. Well, the end. try to keep it compact. You know how readers can be. No attention span these days. Uh, alright. Well, simply put, this place means something to us. Yeah, exactly. For people like me, it's been a part of our lives since childhood. Everything we've ever experienced happened all around this oasis. We do this for Martel, for Rhonda, Theodore, all the people we lost here. The people who loved this place no matter what. If we let Sandrock disappear, we let their memories fade with it and allow their sacrifice to be... Meaningless. I won't let that happen. Oh, s sorry. Uh, was that too long? Yes, it was. Uh, maybe I can uh, rephrase that. N no. Uh, I just. That was good. Mm -hmm. We can use that. Next question. All right. So Ernest is just going around doing his water? interviews. That's a good question. <laughs> I don't have an answer for it. How do the little woods start? What's this over here? Boutique store. Ah. So they've moved all the items. So like originally you could buy these at Vivi's, but now and the and the uh, furniture. So now it's all in the city hall. So they definitely they've changed some things. It's really cool to see though. It's cool. Oh yeah, we'll have to... I mean, do I just want to continue wearing what I'm wearing for the picture tomorrow? I kind of like what I'm wearing. It, it looks cool. Alright, so we're going to have to wrap this episode up right here. In the next one, we're going to be going to take the photo in front of the Little Woods for Ernest's paper. And that should trigger some more main stories type quest things. And we'll go from there. So if you enjoyed, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See ya!